What's up, Christ United Kids? I hope you're having an amazing day. Let's practice our Bible verse for this week. You guys remember, it's a super easy one and it's very, very short. Philippians 4, 13. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. How'd you do? You guys remember it? I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Guys, God wants us to give, this, give us the strength to get through each and every single day. And I told you guys that we were going to be reading in the book of Daniel today. I love the story of Daniel. Daniel has the book of Daniel and the Bible has a ton of like super crazy like amazing things happen to Daniel and Daniel God uses Daniel in such an amazing way and we're going to start out by reading Daniel chapter 1 all right so this is what you need to know all right we're going to start at 1 chapter 1 verse 1 in the third year of the reign of um Jehoan, king of Judah Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came to Jerusalem and besieged it all right so this is what you need to know Daniel lived in Jerusalem and Nebuchadnezzar, who was the king of Babylon, came and took over Jerusalem. And when he did that, he actually carried off the temple of his God um, in Babylonia and put in the treasure of treasure house of his God. Then he ordered the chief of his court officials to bring some of the Israelites from the royal family and nobility, young men without any physical de defect, handsome, showing aptitude for every kind of learning, well-informed, quick to understand, qualified to serve in the king's palace, okay? So, King Nebuchadnezzar wanted to bring some of the Israelites, some of the people who lived in Jerusalem. He wanted to bring them and make them part of his army. So, he takes these people and moves them far, far away to the pl a place called Babylon, which is where King Nebuchadnezzar lived. And he wanted to turn these Israelite people, the people who believed in the one true God, into Babylonians who worshipped all kinds of gods. All right? So, um, look at verse 5. It says, the king, assigned, the king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years, and after that, they were going to enter the king's service. Among these were some from Judah. Okay? Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah. The chief official gave them new names. To Daniel, he named him Belteshazzar, to Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. All right? Now, this is when it starts to get good, okay? You have to know that living in Babylon, they worshiped all kinds of other gods. They ate foods and things that people like Daniel, who had been who had been brought up in um, as an Israelite, as a people who followed the one true God, knew that they weren't supposed to eat and they weren't supposed to drink. They had all these rules and things that had been passed down to them from Moses. And they knew, Daniel, even though he was young, he knew that he wasn't supposed to eat these things. He also knew that he wasn't supposed to do these things. And, that the, and he also knew on top of all of that, that his strength came where? God. He knew that in all things, he could do all things through God who gave him strength. All right. Verse eight says, Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. And he asked the chief official for permission not to defile him himself, himself that way. Now, let's see. It says, God had caused the official to show favor and sympathy to Daniel, but the official told Daniel, I'm afraid of my Lord, the King, who has assigned your food and drink. Why should he see you looking worse than the other young men your age? The King would have my head because of you. Daniel then said to the guard, whom the chief official had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, please test your servants for 10 days. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink, and then compare our, appearan our appearance with that of the young men who eat the royal feet, food and treat your servants in accordance with what you see, with what you see. All right. So Daniel knew that he shouldn't eat those foods and he knew that it would be breaking a law that he had grown up 
learning and knowing that it was important. Daniel also knew that he could do all things through him who gives him strength. And so he said, he told the official, let me just have, let us just have vegetables and water and just watch to see if we're not just as strong as the people who are eating the other foods. Skip down to it says, verse 18, at the end of the time set by the king to bring them in, the chief official presented them to Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them and found none equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So they entered the king's service. In every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king questioned them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in the whole kingdom. And Daniel remained there until the first year of King Cyrus. So, Daniel, who was living in a place that he probably was very unsure about, around people who believed totally different than him, people that didn't want to do the right thing, Daniel still chose to believe and to do the right thing. He followed the law that he knew was important. He knew that his strength, all of his strength, came from God and that he could do all things. So today, if someone is trying to pressure you, and we're going to be talking about this all week, but in your life, there might be people that try to convince you to believe something different or convince you to do something different that you know is not right. I want you to remember what Philippians 4.13 says, that I can do everything through God, through him who gives me strength. And I want you to remember the story of Daniel and how he did what was right all of the time. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the story of Daniel and all that we are going to learn from it. And we just pray that you would help us to know that our strength comes from you. We love you so much. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, tomorrow we're going to hear another really amazing story from the book of Daniel. So I will see you then.